so my name's Hannah Fieldhouse and I'm an instrumental tutor with Seven Arts. And um, what I'm going to do for you today is to show you how to play along with my own original song I've composed called Our Connection Remains. I wrote this especially for Seven Arts with everything that's going on in the world at the moment and the pandemic with COVID-19. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to play you through the song and then after that I'll show you how to play the individual melody notes and then I'll show you how you can play chords along if you want to as well. And hopefully lyrics can be included in the post when it's shared on social media. So this is the whole song. <laughs> Okay, so if you're a vocalist, you're very welcome to sing along with this song and the lyrics will hopefully be included in the post for you. You can also harmonise along with it if you would like to. So for more beginner guitar players and piano players, etc, you can play the individual melody notes. So that would go as follows. So on the verse, we do B four times. And then we do G four times. So you're going to do that seven times in total and then the last time you're going to do E four times and then C which is on B fret one once. Okay so there's two verses and then we go into the chorus which is E four times, C first fret on B once and then D which is third fret on B once 
and you're going to do that sequence four times, okay? So the structure of the whole song is actually intro, verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus, chorus, okay? Don't be too worried about that for now. If you're a guitar player and you fancy playing along with some chords, then the first chord that we do is actually B minor. So that's first finger on E, second fret, second finger on B, third fret, third finger on D, fourth fret, and little finger on G, fourth fret. That's a B minor. The next chord is a G chord, G major. So that's first finger on A, fret two, second finger on E, fret three, third finger on B, fret three, and then little finger on E, fret three underneath. So you're strumming. last bit of the verse you do an E minor chord so that's first finger on A2 second finger on D2 and it goes to a C chord so that's first finger on B1 second finger on D2 and third finger on A3 so you do two run rounds of the verse after the intro the chorus is E minor again so that's a2, D2, into a C chord again, B1, D2, A3, into a D chord, which is a little bit like a triangle shape, first finger on G2, second finger on E2, third finger on B3. So I'll just play a verse into a chorus for you. Don't be worried if you see me playing some chords that are further up the neck. You don't have to do that. They are the same chords, but just in slightly different positions and pitches, okay? Um, so yeah, if you would like to play along with this, you can just rewind the video and play along again with what I do at the start. And then please remember to tune your instruments up before you try and play along with it, just to ensure you get the right notes. Thanks very much.